Hi, welcome to a non video tutorial. This time it's a user wish, a joint, and I think it's a very nice exercise. So maybe first take a look at the drawing. So you could, of course, make a screenshot and follow this exercise step by step. And the drawing would be over here. There it is. Just make a screenshot. And now let's have fun with Onshape. Okay, first I want to create another plane with a distance to that one, and that distance should be 100 millimeter. And confirm. Now the first sketch would be, of course, on that front plane, and that should look something like this here. Okay, add some dimensions. This should be 20. This should be 20. And this should be 20 as well. Now that distance might be 50. And This distance here might be 65. Okay, now let's add some constraints. So this should be right there. And that line should be inside that plane. Now I want to add some points just in case. There should be a point here at the middle. Yes. Another one here. And one up there, it should be on that line, and the distance should be 50 from this point to that line here. Okay, finish that sketch. Now let's make an extrude, make it symmetric, make it 55. Symmetry and it should be 55 and confirm. Yeah, of course you have to select that one here and confirm. I need another work plane or plane to split that solid here or that part into two parts. I could use this one, the point here as reference. So let's make it visible. Show. And when, then I want to have a plane with a distance from that one here, not this one, but that one, and it should go through that point. So there is a point normal, curve point, that's not available, or plane point, yeah, that would be great. This one here, and that's okay. Nice. Now let's split that solid, that part, yes. That's the part, and the entity to split it with is this one. Of course I want to keep the tools and I want to keep both sides and confirm. So this would be the top. Let's rename it, call it top, just in case. And this one bottom. Yeah, and this one bottom. Okay, and now I want to use the shell tool. Okay, let's use the shell command on the top part. Hide the bottom one and maybe hide those planes at least for the moment. Okay, and that sketch should be hidden as well. Now, Let's go for shell. I want to go for six millimeter. So this should be removed, that should be removed, this should be removed, and that should be moved in that direction after all. So that's okay at the moment, so confirm this, which gives me 
six millimeter all around and that's six millimeters so that distance here is 40 millimeters i need this to be five but there should be another two millimeters here so first i have to move those two surfaces by one millimeter so i've got seven in total so this and that should have one millimeter extra like that and i could leave it like that i suppose yes now i need another shell and i want to remove this that one here and this one and i want to go for six millimeter again to keep those side so that's six millimeter and six millimeter and i want to remove one millimeter here so i have to move those two faces and i have to turn it around and make it one millimeter same here so move this one here turn it around by one millimeter and then I have to add to this surface and the other one 9 millimeter because right now it's 6 millimeter and it has to be 15. So let's go to the move command here. I want to move this one here and that one here and this one by 9 millimeter. And confirm. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, let's bring back the bottom and hide the top. Again, I go for a shell, and again, it's six millimeter. I want to remove this surface, that surface, this one, and that one here. And confirm. Now, the total thickness of this should be 13. But the distance from here is 5. So in order to get from 6 to this point here, I have to add 9 mm on both sides. So let's go again for move. This one here and that one here. 9 mm. And confirm. So that's okay. But now again another shell, this surface, that surface, this one and that one. Again 6 millimeter. And confirm. Now I have to bring back this because this has to be 13. So that 6 I have to add 7 and 7 to those two. So go here, select this one and that one and make it seven that should do the trick yeah looks good nice bring back the top and now i can join those two i don't want to keep the tools that's okay and i want to join the top to the bottom and okay Okay, I want to use the first sketch once more, so bring it back. Go to an extrude, select that sketch here and make it symmetric. Add it to all and make it 5 millimeter. And confirm. Hide it. Copy that sketch here. Onto the front plane. Hide sketch one and edit sketch two. So, of course, I will need a line somewhere here, maybe like that. Add a dimension like that, and this should be 
50. Or should go up to that split plane, that would work as well. Now I sh maybe should trim. Those two points can be deleted as well, and I have to add that dimension here. No, it's there, that's okay. Now put this point onto that origin point. Looks good. Confirm. And now bring back the top and make another extrude with this sketch here. Again, add it, merge with all, make it symmetric, make it 14 millimeter. Looks great. Now I need some more extrudes and sketches. So maybe bring back that sketch and hide that body. I will need a sketch on the top plane. And there should be a circle and that circle should be right on this point. And the diameter should be 55. I'll leave that sketch. Then I need another circle sketch on the that's the front that's the top on the right plane and again it's a circle and should rest on this point and again the diameter is 55 confirm and i will need another sketch on the top plane here on that plane here so go for this one go for a sketch and again go for a circle, should sit here and the diameter should be 30. And confirm. Bring back that body. Now let's do an extrude here. Merge it with all, make it 20 millimeter. Direction is okay, yes. Confirm. Same here, another extrude with this one here. Merge with all, make it again 20 millimeter. Direction should be okay, yes, and confirm. And again, another extrude now with this sketch. Reverse the direction, make it 20 millimeter. Merge with all and confirm. This looks really good. Okay, now for those holes I will need sketch points. So I want to reuse those sketches. And let's go for the first sketch, this one here. And I want to put a point onto that point right there. Okay, confirm. Then go for the second one here. That would be here. I want to use that point right there. Confirm. And then on the top, this one again a point just right there. Now make sure this sketch is hidden. Otherwise it will use those points and that the direction of those holes will be wrong. And then start here by making those sketches visible. And I can use those points. So go for a hole. It should be 45 in diameter, 20 meter, 20 millimeters in depth. And select this point here. That's okay. Confirm. Now another hole on this point. That's the same dimension. And one on at the top, right here. And this would be 8 millimeter in diameter. And confirm. Now hide those sketches. Nice. Now I should be able to go for the chamfers and the fillets. Let's start with the chamfers. So, chamfer, there's one. And this should be 10 by 15 or the other way around. Let's just check it 10 by 15. So 
so this should be reversed yes let's see if we can do it on this other side with the same values yeah looks good so let's confirm this great now let's start with the inner fillets I will need a 15 millimeter fillet here and there yes I will need 10 millimeters over here and over there yes and then I need 20 millimeters on this one that one this one and here as well nice so the rest of the fillets are just one millimeter and two millimeter and I will leave that up to you I will do them and I will show you again the finished model before I add the other fillets I need to make another extrude I forgot this one so let's go for an extrude and I want to use uh, that's sketch 2 yes it should be symmetric it should be 2 millimeter and it should be removed symmetric 2 millimeter looks good so let's confirm so that small gap appears here and now the rest are just 1 and 2 millimeter fillets and I will leave that up to you I will do all those and then show you the finished part again so I've added all the fillets and that's the finished part looks pretty good hope this was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel that would really help and you could follow me also on instagram grabcat facebook and many more thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye